Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna review five different supplements for healthy skin, hair, and nails, and my personal reviews on them, price points, what their claims are, what some additional benefits of each of these are, and just my results that I've experienced with each of these supplements. Um, I do like taking supplements in addition to just like a healthy diet, drinking water, obviously my skincare routine. Um, the supplements get to the root of the hair and the nail and the skin, which is what I really like about them. Whereas some things like applying face creams, that's kind of after the fact and just conditioning. So like I said, I really like using supplements in addition to some of those other healthy lifestyle and care techniques. Also, I'm just me in general. I have naturally had really thin hair and nails and really dry skin. So um, some people that do reviews on supplements, I feel like they already have like really thick nails or really thick thick hair. So um, for me, because those things aren't so great naturally, um, when I do take something that does work well, I do really notice a difference because my starting point is already like so bad, I guess you should say. So um, first, let's just start off with the option that I recommend the least, which is um, prenatal vitamins. So if you guys have watched any of my other videos, I'm on my trying to conceive journey. I've tried like three different brands of prenatal vitamins just because my doctor recommended starting to take them. And um, there's a lot of things out there that like celebrities are using these and that you're going to get glowing skin, um, thicker hair and stronger nails by taking these because they do have like full acid, iron, calcium, they have a lot of great nutrients in them. They're basically like a multivitamin on steroids. Um, however, I didn't notice any additional benefits or side effects from taking these. Um, there are some disadvantages also, like out of everything I'm going to talk about, I saw the least results in these. And there's also the biggest disadvantages of taking them if you're not actually trying to get pregnant um, because some prenatal vitamins have iron in them, which they can make you really constipated. And then um, all prenatal vitamins for the most part should have folic acid and that taken in large doses over time can actually cause more damage than benefits. So um, the prenatal vitamins right here, I definitely wouldn't recommend if you're um, not trying to get pregnant and again, I didn't see any results. Just looking at my notes, I'm gonna go over the serving size price. So these ones were 20 cents per serving and I'll link all of the products in the description below. So um, in general, I do a lot of videos on just like beauty. I like to talk about like natural ways to get healthier, um, whether it be beauty aspect or health and fitness aspect. So if you like those types of videos, definitely subscribe to my channel. I just do honest reviews on things or tips and tricks and routines as well. So next up, I'm going to talk about biotin. Now, um, I did a lot of research on biotin online um, prior to purchasing these and after, and there are studies, and again, I'll link these below, that show that bio biotin does have a 91% chance of um, increasing your nail thickness and strength. And again, I'll link that below. Um, so biotin, I originally started taking for my nails years back and I definitely noticed with biotin um, thicker nails, like my nails that would just break off the second they got past the skin. I just trimmed them, but they will get really long um, if I'm on a biotin supplement. So for nails, biotin is my top recommendation it's also really inexpensive so the biotin comes out to 10 cents per serving which out of all the things I'm going to talk about this is the cheapest product per serving so I um, definitely recommend them for nails for hair um, my hair is super thin and it's really damaged at the bottom from dyeing it but the biotin I have noticed has strengthened the hair at the shaft which is what um, the product also claims to do like if you read it says um, healthy nails hair and skin 
on the skin aspect for biotin i didn't really notice a difference to be honest um and i am holding these two products because the biotin does come in a liquid version and it comes in a supplement version some people that don't like to take pills definitely recommend the liquid version um if you don't mind i really like this one with coconut oil um it's supposed to help you like digest it faster um, some people say that the biotin liquid format is better because it's easier for digestion. I personally didn't like the orange flavor of this. I just felt more at ease taking the pill. So um, either one of these are going to work and you can take this one's a 5,000 milligram serving. This one is 10,000. So um, depending on your diet, you might want to start out with 5,000 milligrams per day and then build up if you feel like you need more. But highly recommend these. Other benefits of biotin is it um, does help boost metabolism in some cases and it also can help with digestion and even brain function. So again, I'll link all the more in-depth research on these things in the description below. So <clears throat> next I'm gonna talk about collagen. So these are two different things. This is collagen um, in a supplement format. It's called multi-supplement or multi um, collagen complex because it has several different types of collagen in it. Um, this one is my top recommendation for healthier skin. I definitely noticed that my skin was less dry. Um, it just seemed more elastic and just like looking fresher and more glowy. So this one over the collagen peptide powder, I definitely recommend for skin. I don't know is the fact that this is a multi-collagen complex, whereas the powder is just one type of collagen, but I definitely liked this for my skin. This is the most expensive product. It comes out to almost a dollar per serving. So that's about a dollar per day. So this one does get kind of pricey. Another thing that I noticed is that um, the milligrams per serving is a lot less on this than this. So it's more expensive and you are getting less collagen. But again, I did notice a big difference in my skin. I didn't really notice much else um, with the collagen as far as like hair or nail difference. The collagen peptide powder, now the benefit of this over the supplement is you obviously get more grams per serving. This one was 11 grams of um, the collagen peptides per, or sorry, 11 grams, yeah, of the collagen peptides per serving. It is only one type of collagen, and um, I didn't notice a big difference in skin, hair, um, or nails with this one. But what I did like about this one is it mixes into your coffee and just makes it creamier in the morning. So I did like that. That was a plus. Um, also, I have really bad knees and I did notice a difference in joint health and support with this one. So other benefits of collagen in general, whether it's the peptide option or the supplement option, is they do help um, boost your like joints and bones. It says supports bones and joints on both of them. So that would be the benefit. Um, some say that the peptides are easier to digest because they're already the broken down version. Um, like I said, I didn't experience any side effects with this and highly recommend this for skin. Um, recommend this one for joints and if you just like something to mix in your coffee or tea in the morning. So um, those are all of my supplements. Um, if you have any supplements that you personally like to use or have seen results on, definitely leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, um, subscribe and you know like the video, give it a thumbs up. And um, I'll definitely post more things like this. Right now, since my hair is growing better from the root, I am trying some natural hair lightening products that I'll be sure to share with you because I'm so sick of my damaged ends from um, lightening my hair at the salon. So we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful and I'll look forward to